really good friend of mine, and this may really relate to you too, had a flood in their home uh, just a year or so ago. And this is the topic of my latest article in the Drive magazine, and it's called The Stories That We Tell Ourselves. And what happened was they felt a complete loss of control when they had the flood. They had just built a house that was intended for retirement and they'd been away on holidays and they came back and the entire basement had been filled with water for five days. And so what they did is what most people do. They start into that loop of rumination. I should have done this. I should have done that. Ah, why didn't I know better? I'm an idiot. I'm a, like, I'm a complete fill in the blank. So reflect back once again to something in your life that you're experiencing infinite rumination, that it's going around and around and around. And what that is, is what's called a cognitive distortion. Because my friend who was overcome with emotion at the time was not responsible for mother nature, though he felt like he was. And so the antecedent in the situation was the flood. The belief that this person had was that it was their fault. And then finally, they had the emotional consequence that they, they should have known better. And so what they did is, with my help, is they took some breathing space. And literally, because when you get into that place of infinite rumination, that everything in your life, that that breakup, that job loss, that debt situation, though there may be small parts of it that are your fault, when there's a flood, you are not God. It's Mother Nature. So what you do is you need to change the story. Instead of looking at the antecedent, the flood was your fault, you need to surrender and realize that there are many things in life that are beyond your control. And this is the dark side of the research on grit and perseverance, is that we've been taught at a very young age, if we just work hard enough and we work through it, that we can get to a place of conquering just about everything in our life. But that's not true. And the interesting thing about that, people that are from lower socioeconomic status and developing countries don't beat themselves up, do not have this infinite rum, rum, distortion, rumination, the way that we do. Because we have been said and taught by our parents and our, and our Instagram and YouTube and everywhere else that we're in charge. But ultimately, life is gonna happen. Things are gonna happen. But the one thing that is true for all of us is that forces beyond our control can never change our freedom to choose our next thought. So once time had passed, my friend came to the conclusion, as devastating as it was for him, and you can read about it, uh, link in my bio, the Drive Magazine article, The Stories We Tell Ourselves, is that instead of seeing it as it being their fault, Every time that they walk by the place of flood, they thought, you know what, change the thought. It took time, it doesn't happen just like that. But with time, he looked at the construction zone as an opportunity for renovation, something that was gonna take him higher, to stretch him beyond where he was in the first place. How can you change the story of what's ever happening in your life that feels beyond your control? You have more freedom than you realize and never forget that there's always a higher thought waiting for you. Enjoy some breathing space. Until next time.